Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are now tuned in to Nosy Parker TV. But before we get started, I need you to go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified for when I drop a video. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I do have a Patreon account. The link will be in the description below. Guys, I hope you're ready today because I'm ready to spill this tea. Okay, so another one of R. Kelly's sex slave victims is speaking out yet again. And this time, this uh, lady has wrote a book in, you know, in detail about all the things that took place while she was dealing with R. Kelly, all the abuse and the sexual escapades that she endured while being with him. So the woman that's uh, making this claim, her name is Kitty Jones. Uh, she claims that she was physically abused uh, by R. Kelly while dating him. And um, last month, she made headlines claiming that she and the singer dated from 2011 to 2013. Uh, Jones, who was also a, a radio personality, alleged that R. Kelly was often physically abusive, forced her to have sex, and even attempted to starve her at one point, all in an effort to control her. She says she ended the relationship back in 2013 and has penned a book called I Was Somebody Before This. Now, in the book, she writes uh, a lot of details about her experience, you know, while with R. Kelly. And I'm going to go ahead and read uh, one of the excerpts from the book. And, um, and, I, and I quote, as I sat in the Chicago studio room, my head started to feel dizzy. I hadn't eaten in two days. He had me on punishment and thoughts of my life of, and how I got here. I was smart, ambitious, and independent. I went from small TV roles like Soul Train, The Parkers, and having successful radio career, great family, and friends. I had just toured 30 cities with R. Kelly, living in Chicago with him, and I wanted to kill myself. Uh, she also continued on by saying, and I quote, as I looked around the room for something to end my life, I cried. I wanted to blame God, someone from for not stopping me from moving to Chicago. But the only thing I could find were Excedrin PM head uh, eight pills. I took a few, uh, hoping it would make me fall asleep fast. I wanted to dream. I was back home happy again and all I remember was that I was somebody before this and I wanted my life back. Now the book has 10 chapters with titles like Are You Getting Peed On? Uh, she, looked, she looks a lot like the girl from the sex tape and always called me daddy. Now the book retails for ten eighty nine and is available on Amazon. Guys, let me know what you think about this whole crazy mess with this R. Kelly situation. Do you feel sorry for these women? Do you feel like they could have left a long time ago? Like, Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comments and I'll be back with another video.